Hello everyone. In this video, we have solved this Chinese math Olympiad question. It is an interesting math x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120 x is equal to what how to solve this question so first of all i can say easily here is x plus 1 yes x plus 1 times and here is x plus 4 times and it will be x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 120 yes now at this moment I can say that this term times this term it will be x times x it will be x squared plus x times 4 it will be 4x plus 1 times x it will be x 1 times 4 it will be 4 times bracket here is x plus x it will be x squared plus x times 3 it will be 3x uh, 2 times x it will be twice x plus 2 times 3 it will be 6 is equal to 120 now at this moment I can say that this equation becomes uh, it will be x square plus 4x plus x it will be 5x plus 4 times and it will be x square plus 5x and here is 6 is equal to 120 and in this case I can see really we are find out here is two quadratic equation so it will be x square plus 5x and in this case I can see really this 4 it will be 5 minus 1 and it will be x squared plus 5x and this 6 it will be 5 plus 1 is equal to 120 because of that at this moment i use this identity a minus b times a plus b it will be x square minus b square so if you think uh it will be a and it will be a b and it will be a it will be b so a minus b a plus b it will be x square minus b square so at this moment we'll let let x square plus 5x plus 5 is equal to y so we are let this value it will be y so in this case i can say it will be y minus 1 times and it will be y plus 1 is equal to 120 yes and at this moment i can say that a minus b a plus b it will be a square minus b square so y square minus 1 square it will be 1 and it will be 120 then if I move on this one in this side we'll find out y squared is equal to 120 plus 1 and in this case I can say really it will be y squared is equal to 121 then if I use both sides square root we'll find out here is y is equal to plus minus 11 yes so in this case we'll find out here is y is equal to positive 11 and again we will find out here is y is equal to minus 11 yes so first of all remember that we are let y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 5 so i put this value in this equation so it will be x squared plus 5x plus 5 is equal to 11 and it, it will be also x squared plus 5x plus 5 is equal to minus 11 yes now at this moment i can see that this equation becomes it will be x squared plus 5x and it will be plus 5 so i can see that 5 minus 11 so minus 11 i use minus 11 is equal to 0 so in this case i can see that we'll find out x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 so in this case here is 5x and here is minus uh, a6 so it is a quadratic equation if i do middle factor in this equation so we'll find out here is x square and i can say easily here is positive 6x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 yes so at this moment i can say easily in this equation here is x is common so it will be x plus 6 minus 1 is common it will be x plus 6 is equal to 0 
then in this case again i can say here is x plus 6 is common so we'll find out here is x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we'll find out here is two case or first case is x plus 6 and other case is x minus 6 both are 0 so in this case i can say really, uh, it will be x is equal to 6 sorry minus 6 and x is equal to 1 so we'll find out x1 is equal to minus 6 and x2 is equal to 1 but other equation look here is x squared plus 5x plus 5 is equal to minus 11 so in this equation i can see really here is x squared yes plus 5x plus 5 plus 11 is equal to 0 yes now at this moment uh, i can see the little the x squared plus 5x plus 16 is equal to 0. so it is a quadratic equation so if i want to find out the value of x in this equation so at this moment i can say really uh, here is a is equal to 1 and v is equal to 5 and c is equal to 16. yes c is equal to 16. So I can say that in this case, uh, here is uh, x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 ac over 2a. So according to this case, I, I mean according to these rules, I can say that here is x, uh, it will be, look, x, it will be minus b b is 5 so it will be 5 plus minus square root b square so 5 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 16 over 2 yes now at this moment i can say here is x is equal to minus 5 plus minus square root 25 minus 16 times 4 it will be 64 over 2 then i can say here is x is equal to minus 5 plus minus square root 64 minus 25 i can say it will be 39 over 2. so in this case we have find out our imaginary part x is equal to minus 5 plus minus square root 39 i over 2. We know that square root minus 1 it will be i so i can see the square root minus 39 it will be plus minus square root 39 i over 2 but remember that we'll find out x1 it will be 1 x2 it will be minus 6 x3 it will be minus 5 plus square root 39 i over 2 and x4 we are find out it will be minus 5 minus square root 39 over i i over 2 yes but remember that our question it will be x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120 let's check out our question here is x is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 it will be 2 times 1 plus 2 it will be 3 times 1 plus 3 it will be 4 times 1 plus 4 it will be 5 is equal to 120 yes so at this moment i can say it will be 6 and it will be 20 is equal to 120 so i can say 6 times 20 it will be 120 is equal to 120 so x is equal to 1 this is our right answer and again we'll find out here is x is equal to minus 6 so at this moment if i put a uh, below of six and so i consider it minus six plus one times minus six plus two times minus six plus three times minus six plus four is equal to 120. yes now at this moment i can consider it will be minus five times minus four times minus three times minus two is equal to 120. then it will be 20 minus minus it will be positive 20 times and it will be minus minus plus 6 is equal to 120. So I can see 6 times 20 it will be 120 is equal to 120. So x is equal to minus 6 is our also right answer. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.